So what can you get for around 400,000 in the Phoenix metropolitan area and the outlying suburbs? I'm gonna show you a few examples coming up. Hi, Rick McCone here with EXP Realty. Do me a favor, smash the heck out of that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a live stream every morning at 8.30, Monday through Thursday, where we go over the numbers here in Arizona. But today, I'm gonna to show you what you can get for around 400 to 425,000. Ironically, we only have 400 homes that fit into that price range in the valley. And you can see here, there's homes all the way from Black Canyon City, New River, Morristown, on down to Casa Grande, down past Interstate 10 here. This is the city of Maricopa, and this is the Santang Queen Creek areas. These homes here, Casa Grande, Maricopa, and far out west is where you are going to find newer homes in the 400,000 range, and you're gonna find older ones in Scottsdale and in Metro Phoenix. So here's an example of what you'd get in Central Phoenix. You can find nice little 1,400 square foot homes here. I think this one's about 1,300. This bottom one on the right is in the historic district, and that's probably about 1,400 square feet, but they have some nice lot sizes. And this is a condominium, 24th Street and Camelback in Central Phoenix over in the Biltmore area. Scottsdale, a little slim pickings if you want something for 400,000. They're gonna be about 1,200 to 1,400 square feet if you can find them. Beyond that, you're just gonna be stuck looking at condominiums and townhomes in Scottsdale in that price range. A little hard to find out there, slim pickings. Chandler, not quite so slim. There are some neighborhoods where you can have homes here that were built in the 70s and 80s and some in the 90s for around 425, some newer construction, but the lot lines are starting to shrink a little bit in Chandler and some of the new construction. Maricopa, this is a bit of a drive, but uh, drive to you qualify. The home prices in Maricopa are great. Um, some of the neighborhoods, the homes are slapped up kind of quick before we had the collapse and they are not very, they're not worth looking at in my opinion, uh, but some of the newer construction is fantastic. The neighborhoods are putting up are great. You can get a nice 2,400 square foot home, two story in Maricopa for 400,000. And there are also waterfront homes and golf course homes in Maricopa. Santan Valley is about the same story as Maricopa. There is a lot of new construction, but they also suffer from some of the homes that were slapped up very poorly in 2006 and 2007. But when you start looking at the new construction down there, you'll find the quality is much better. But it's a bit of a commute if you work anywhere outside of Santan Valley because there aren't any viable freeway systems that take you down there currently. Gilbert, there are a variety of homes in Gilbert, from two-story and three-story homes to your regular small homes. You can get around 1,500 to 2,000 square feet. Gilbert is known for some of its beautiful neighborhoods and shopping areas and very kid-friendly. Glendale has a variety of homes as well. This is west of downtown Phoenix. Um, again, you can find some neighborhoods and some homes that are pretty rough, uh, just where the exterior and interior of the homes are in terrible shape. But then you can find some gems like this, one on the top left-hand corner. So there's a lot more variety in Glendale for $400,000. Over 55 communities, the same thing. But right now there's a severe inventory shortage in the over 55 communities such as Sun Lakes, Sun City West, Sun City, and even Rio Verde. But uh, when the get around November to January, the inventory picks up, you will find a lot of variety in the 400 to 425,000 range. Fountain Hills, you're not gonna get much out there for 400. Here's one here that was 424. And the rest uh, that you're gonna end up with are gonna be condominiums or townhomes in Fountain Hills. And out there you pay for the view. The better the view, the higher the price the condo is gonna be. Surprise, out of all the cities I'm showing you, this one will probably have the most variety. Homes on the golf course, homes on the waterfront, nice pools, bigger lot sizes. No surprise there, no pun intended. Mesa, be careful in Mesa. There's some beautiful neighborhoods and you can have a beautiful $425,000 home and the next door neighbor's house may end up looking somewhat like this or like this. So there are some beautiful neighborhoods in Mesa. Make sure you're driving around and checking them out, not just looking at the listing photos. Check out the neighborhoods because some of the homes are pretty dilapidated. 
Some of the neighborhoods in Far East Mesa are fantastic, so don't rule that out. Casa Grande, the last one on the list here, mostly new construction right now because of how fast they're growing. So you can see, you can get an almost a 3,000 square foot house down there for 400,000. And this is examples here of the new construction homes in Casa Grande, which is about half hour to 40 minutes south of Phoenix, maybe a little, almost 45 minutes. So I hope that gives you an idea of what's going on here in the Valley of the Sun. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Oh, 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 oh,